Okay. Hi, William. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Um, I'm here as, um, well, my publicist actually asked me if I wanted to come and see a David Mamet film. And I said, I'd love to come. I mean, David Mamet's, you know, one of my favorite directors. I loved Heist, loved Ronin, um, two very, very good films. And, um, but also later on tonight, I have a friend who has a film here tonight who directed and wrote it, uh, Perry Moore and Hunter Hill. They, they're friends of mine, and uh, I'm going to stay on and see their film. Has your life completely changed since Chronicles of Narnia? Yeah, it really has. I mean, it's sort of a, a, a through-the-wardrobe experience, you know, if I could le use that cliché. But um, I feel really fortunate for all the success I've had and, you know, all the success the film's had as well. Oh, that's great. And are you working on something this year that we could look for? Um, there's a few things in the pipeline, but I don't, I don't, I don't want to curse anything just yet. We'll have to see. Well, enjoy New York City. You don't, do you live here? I did live here, but I'm not living here right now. I used to live in, in the West Village on Christopher Street, but um, not right now. We'll see. It was really nice to meet you. You were great in Chronicles of Narnia. I can't wait to see you. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. Bye-bye. Yeah, he seemed a little off the wall, but that was in a kind of cool way. You know. Right, but you, you were actually Yeah, no, at the time, yeah, no. It was. <laughs> yeah, I mean, at the time, as well, I mean, yeah. Welcome to Cultural Hours. I'm your host, Linda Powers. We're live at the Tribeca Film Festival. We're here to see Red Belt, directed by David Mamet. Live idol and icon. Thank you. Hello, Mr. Mamet. Hiya. Such an honor to meet you. Thank you. Now, the emotional side of it. Uh, I'm not, I never have any emotional ideas no. because I'm basically emotionally I'm very retarded. But I, I, I think a lot about dr drama and about human interaction. So is there a twist at the end in this one? You bet there is. Okay, I can't wait to There's see. There's a couple it. twists in the middle too. Can you show us a jujitsu move? I could, but it really would be inappropriate. Oh, why? <laughs> Thank you. Wait a second. That's a jujitsu move. Oh, you tricked me. Yeah, sure. If I get you to move to the side, all of a sudden, but now you, now you're defeated, right? Okay. The part of jujitsu is, is not to oppose first the force. Okay. You use the, the easiest way possible to deflect the other person's force. So Especially for a woman, I need to know this. How well, it's great happen? for women. In fact, that's part of the, 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 the one of the major elements of the movie is Emily Mortimer teaches her how to deflect force. That's fascinating. I can't wait to see it. Thank you very much. Enjoy it. Culture Hours. Is that your real name, Powers? Yeah, nice, nice, nice. Welcome to Cultural Hours. I'm your host, Linda Powers. We're live at the red carpet premiere of Lake City. Is Dave Matthews coming? Oh. Yeah, I hope. Perry Moore. I'm Linda Powers. Nice Hi, to Linda. meet you. Hi, Linda. Nice to meet you, too. So, how do you direct Sissy Spacek? <laughs> um, I think... Uh, the best storytellers in the world know how to create and invent uh, a character where an actress can take over and it's about trust and I think those of us who, who I, I pray that are exceptionally good at telling a story know best how not to get in the way <laughs> of a pro who knows how to do her thing. Yeah, I just feel like we were, I mean the entire cast head to toe, I think we were very blessed, you know, Hunter and I uh, it was great for two of us to be working together. She absorbed herself in the part. I mean, I worked. I would be on the phone with Sissy at you know two o'clock in the morning, going over lines and feeling it. And Dave Matthews, um, we actually he lobbied for the he role. Lobbied. He lobbied. He, he wanted to be he was known good. as an actor, and he came and met with us and gave us a take. And he. <laughs> so good. I can tell you in about an hour and a half. <laughs> it's great. The Tribeca Film Fest Festival is great. A question. First of all, how do you prepare for the role and then how do you get out of the roles that you take on that are so extraordinary uh, and I'm, I know people who have struggled to keep their farms and lost their farms and so I had an, uh, I think a, a a pretty good understanding of of that. Uh, this was a nice person. I liked her. It was. I had a good time being her. 
The hardest part was getting chased by an, an SUV through a cornfield. I got Charlie horses in my leg and legs and almost got run over. <laughs> That was exciting. Nice to meet you, and I must bow because I, you are extraordinary. Thank you. I'm going to bow back. Thank you so much. <laughs> Good luck, Mr. Bell. So Thank you. And fun of it. That's the exciting part of it. I think it's invigorating. And, you know, when you work with a limited budget, that's just what you do. And in festivals like this help to just uh, bring it to life. It's so helpful. You know, uh, we made this film independently, and we are seeking distribution. So having it in the festival certainly gives us that opportunity. So we're very thankful for Tribeca for doing that for us. Cultural Hours. Linda Powers. Fantastic. Linda Powers, is that you? I'm ecstatic to be I haven't been here in many years, and and uh, I'm, I, I hope we sell our film. Is Dave Matthews coming? Oh.